who pleaded guilty of driving while intoxicated and running over a family of five while going the wrong way on Boulder Highway appeared before a judge to be sentenced this morning. Andrew Demura was inside that courtroom and he joins us now live from downtown Las Vegas with an update for us. Andrew. Yeah, Latoya, we just got out of the courtroom about five minutes ago where a judge sentenced 64 year old Cynthia Phelps to a minimum of 15 years and a maximum of 60 years behind bars after she pleaded guilty to multiple counts of driving while under the influence. Now Phelps was arrested earlier on this spring after that incident, that horrific incident one Sunday afternoon where she drove down Boulder Highway the wrong way while intoxicated and hit a family of five while they stood at the bus stop there on Boulder Highway, killing 42 year old Robert Higgins along with 14 year old Eric McPherson and severely injuring Amber Reedy. Amber Reedy is the mom and the wife of Robert Higgins. Uh, the deal that this plea deal came uh, just a couple of months ago, we reported on it. She pleaded uh, guilty to three counts, two counts of driving while under the influence causing death, and then one count of driving while under the influence causing substantial bodily harm. Now, Amber Reedy was in the courtroom today. Uh, wanted to make sure that you all know that she was in a coma for months, but she spoke in court and she gave an impact statement. Take a listen to this. I'm off. No, oops. I am very pissed off. You have no idea the cause, the hurt, the anguish. I'm so mad. Woke up and had Bobby and Eric were gone. As you can see, that she's still. As you can see, she's still uh, very much upset about uh, this tragedy, reeling from it. Um, uh, Cynthia Phelps, also uh, her attorney, I should say, her public defender, gave a statement that she written. She she still uh, says that she uh, she's extremely sorry. Uh, she thought she she still believed that she had a seizure. She uh, she was driving down the road and all of a sudden her she saw broken glass and the crash happened. Uh, but once again, she's sentenced to a minimum of 15 years behind bars. For now, we're live outside of the Regional Justice Center. I'm Andrew Nomura, News 3. All right, you feel that woman's pain. Thank you so much.